Go. Hi, I'm Paul Gannon, <coughs> and today we're going to do form two as part of our martial arts curriculum for flat belt. And uh, this is a mixture of punches and kicks again. Okay, from here we're going to start off in our guard, elbows in, chin down. Always want to have this habit when we're sparring. We're going to start off with a backhand hook punch here. Okay, we're going to keep this left hand up for a backhand hook punch. Then we're going to for a left hand hook punch, and then finish that combination with a straight punch across, driving for the ball of my foot. So again, it's backhand hook punch, front hand hook punch, cross. Then right knee up, roundhouse kick, then left knee, roundhouse kick. From here, we're going to do a cross, hook, cross. So as I'm throwing that um, last combination, throwing a cross, the hook punch, I'm rotating my hip on the front on the ball of my foot here for the hook punch, then pushing forward again for the cross. Let's do that again from this angle. So, starting off with a hook punch, one, left hook punch, two, and then across. Knee comes up, roundhouse kick, left leg roundhouse kick, always pointing the knee first. That straight punch with the cross, hook punch turning in, and then cross the finish. One more from this angle. So, it's hook punch, hook punch, cross. Get that knee up for the roundhouse kick, left knee up, roundhouse kick, cross, hook punch, cross. Okay, let me show you from this angle now. So, chins down, elbows in here. I'm going to start off with our hook punch here, turning my body, left hook punch, and then cross. Get my back knee up, pointing my knee at the target, shooting the kick out. Then from here, same thing again. We're going to do a left leg kick, knee up, and kick. From here, we're going to cross, hook, cross. Let's change angles now. So, I'm left, still left foot in front, and we'll start with my first punching combination. So it's hook, hook, cross. My knee comes up for the roundhouse kick, left knee up, roundhouse kick. Then finish off with a cross, hook, cross, here. Okay, let me show you, um, my partner's, this is a sparring combination, so we want to do it with our partner. Um, when we're doing sparring, remember we want to have our hand pads and our feet pads. These sort of pads here are generally best for general sparring. You can kick up sparring them, you can grapple them as well because you can open the hands. And um, same thing with the feet pads as well. Uh, they're nice and soft so we can um, spar each other and it keeps it nice and safe. Uh, we normally have a head guard on. Luce is wearing his head guard, uh, but today I need to explain so I'm not wearing my head guard so you can hear me clearly. So, from here, we're going to assume we're quite close. I mean, these, these combinations, you'd use bits of them in sparring, you wouldn't normally use the whole thing. Okay, you normally use two, three, maybe four moves in a sparring combination, but it's a good way of practicing these uh, um, individual moves and in uh, small combinations as well. So, we're starting off here with a hook punch here. He's going to cover with his arm up his elbow or something, normally in class. Hook punch, then hook punch, and then we're going to do a cross here. I'm assuming he's going to be moving back, otherwise I won't be kicking. And then I'm going to fire the right leg roundhouse kick, maybe moves back a bit again. Left leg roundhouse kick. And to finish, I'm throwing a straight punch here across, hook punch, and then across again to finish. So. We'd be assuming the moving back, otherwise we wouldn't throw the punch. If he wasn't moving back at all, and, and we were hook punching him, we might even we go to clinch or something. But we're assuming he's moving back. So, I mean, oftentimes when you spar people, you know for what's called runners, you do a few moves and they just back pedal, just move back, and that's when we can maybe catch him with the kicks. So, I can be pause, please. So we're going to throw a hook punch here, the backhand, left hook punch, cross. He's driving back a bit here. We're going to lift, get that right leg up there, then the left leg kick here, and then cross, hook, cross, then back. Let's change angle on this. So, part of standing here. We can also show these heads, kicks head high. We'd be doing them to the leg primarily for MMA and to the body if it was um, some other sport, kickboxing or semi contact. So, come here, pause, please. We're going to throw a hook punch here, off the right, 
Now I'm going to throw my hook punch, I'm going to cover with my left hand. Then hook punch with my left, I'm covering my right hand. Then I'm going to straight punch here. He's moving back slightly. I maybe throw a leg kick here, he moves back slightly again. And I could maybe throw a body kick here off my left. Then to finish, cross, hook, cross. One more time um, from that angle. So, we've got a hook punch, hook punch, cross. The round kick, he moves back slightly, round kick, and then cross, hook, cross, then there. Okay, thank you, Liz. So, that's uh, form two. Hope you get a lot of fun practicing that. Definitely watch these videos and practice the moves nice and slow as well as practice them in class. We'll see you next time. I look forward to seeing you.